Okay, so right now we're getting our first real taste of winter weather. Got some snow coming down right now and a decent little ground covering. I don't think we're going to get any accumulation really, but I mean they're saying we are, but usually we don't. So anyway, I need to get out here and do something about it. So we're going to get the spreader put on the loader and salt everywhere that that we drive. I found that if you wait till it's done and then come out, sometimes that first layer will freeze and then you get snow on top of ice. If you can deal with it before you get that bottom layer of ice, you're better off. It is kind of nice that I'm currently able to store my tractor inside, so warming it up is easier. But I'm really glad that I've at least got this cab to keep me out of the elements. The first year, I cleared snow in the tractor without a cab. And, I mean, you go out and you do it and it's fine, but... This is better. It's coming down a little heavier just in the few minutes I've been out here. And I wouldn't call it snow. It's like sleet, but it's really small pellets. Kind of alternating between that and snow. Uh, could be worse. Definitely should have set this up yesterday. Okay, I came up here in the shop because I was thinking I needed to reconnect the spreader to the battery and I realized I left it in a way that was really easy to reconnect, you know, thanks to the setup that I, it has. If you guys haven't seen it before, this is my FastCast 2000, I think is the model number on this. It's from Curtis Industries. Really nice spreader. It's really designed for spreading salt or ice melt in the winter, but I also used it for spreading seed this summer. So it has this cable right here that you use to open and close the chute wider or narrower for how much material you want to let out at once. And then it's just got this wiring set up. We've got a switch that turns it on and off and these two clips right here are just quick connects and the other end of these is already connected to the battery i just plug these two in and then i stick this up in the operator station i actually open the front windshield just a tiny bit stick this through and close it again so i can operate it from inside the cab and then i poke my cable controller in here And we are set up and ready to go. When I got this spreader, I was planning to pull it behind the four-wheeler, 
but behind the four wheeler it was i couldn't tell what was coming out i couldn't tell how much was still in here and when the the ice or the salt or the ice melt would stick to the sides i couldn't reach it to knock it down so what i found is if i put it on the loader on this receiver i can see what's coming out the headlights are hitting the spray that's coming out of the spinner i can wiggle the loader joystick and shake all the contents down and it's just it works a lot better for me so that's why i'm using it on here but you can put this anywhere that you've got a receiver and you can get it that's a three-point mount all this came from curtis industries which is the parent company that owns Artillion. Bag says multi-purpose Kansas rock salt. I don't know if different states have different rock salt. I started off with two bags, and two bags covered a trip all the way down to the mailbox, up around the actual garage, and then back up here, ran out right as I got back up. Okay, I would say this is a nice setup 
or dealing with an icy driveway. We have a pretty long driveway. I used four bags of salt and once I got it set up it only took me maybe 15 minutes or something. Not long at all. You're just driving down and back with the switch turned on. So anyway, I'll have a snow clearing video if this keeps coming down. And the hard part of that, once again, will just be getting the plow and the box blade put on the tractor. But next time, I need to be more prepared. Anyway, I pr appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.